This is an overview of Puma, an open source 3D printed microscope which you can build as a DIY project. It was designed to use professional quality optics for research and education as a portable and low cost alternative to the much more expensive commercially available scopes like this one. Puma is open source and fully customizable. However, because its frame is made of 3D printed plastic, Puma does have some limitations over those all metal scopes, but it also has some very advanced features that are not usually found even in the most expensive professional scopes. This video will introduce you to those features and limitations so you can decide if a Puma microscope is suitable for you. For more detailed information about Puma, see this peer-reviewed scientific paper published in the Journal of Microscopy and also the Puma GitHub page. Links to both of these are in the video description below. This YouTube channel will also provide more detailed videos on specific aspects of Puma that are only briefly mentioned here. Puma stands for Portable, Upgradable, Modular and Affordable, some of the key features of this system. Puma is totally portable. Not only is it small and lightweight, but Unlike many other professional microscopes, whether 3D printed or otherwise, it does not require mains electricity, a PC, a camera, a smartphone, mobile or internet signal, or a monitor to operate. Even Puma's advanced options, such as its augmented reality heads-up display, that can provide mobile image analysis, amongst other things. Fourier light filtration for phase contrast and other advanced lighting effects. And a motorized Z stage are completely portable, being driven by a small battery operated control unit, which includes an Arduino Nano microcontroller. Puma scopes can also be quickly field stripped for transport and likewise reassembled. So Puma can be used for extended periods in remote places without mains electricity or internet connectivity. However, there is also the option to use an external mains power adapter, as well as interfacing to a computer etc. if full portability is not required so making Puma a versatile laboratory benchtop instrument as well. Like many professional series of laboratory microscopes, Puma is modular. You can use it as a simple but high quality monocular microscope with an adjustable mirror for illumination, so not requiring any electronics at all, to scopes with powered illumination, including Epi illumination, all the way through to an advanced trinocular scope with full curler illumination and an augmented reality projection unit for heads up display of its integrated computer, allowing for digital measurements and much more, while still being fully portable. Many other configurations are also possible via its optional interchangeable modules, for example mirror illumination with an Abbey condenser for high magnification imaging without electronics, powered transpolarization useful for assessing birefringence in biological tissue sections, a range of epi illumination options from plain epi illumination with white light with the option of epi polarization to epi fluorescence microscopy for advanced research applications. Even phase contrast using the Schleieren method, so not requiring expensive phase objectives, is possible, as is dark ground microscopy. These advanced modalities are easily achieved by making use of the versatile condenser aperture system for Fourier light processing. All aspects of Puma are open source and not monopolized behind paywalls and patents. Even the original CAD files are available from the GitHub page, 
not just fixed STL mesh files. So you can easily edit and customize the scope to suit your own project needs. As a 3D printed project, it is designed to be built and customized by anyone with access to 3D printing and uses standard fixtures and fittings that are readily available from a variety of popular retail outlets. Even the high quality optics can be purchased from general outlets. You don't need to buy any component from a specialist university optics supplier or a major microscope manufacturer to get a professional quality optical experience. Example costs for self-built Puma scopes are given in the Journal of Microscopy publication. For example, a practical epifluorescence Puma microscope, including all the high quality optics and electronics, can be made for under £80 if full DIY printing and assembly are used. However, if all this DIY 3D printing, building circuit boards etc. is not for you, but you just want to use the Puma system, our affiliated online optics store, OpDark, can supply ready-made Puma microscopes and upgrade modules. Visit optark.co.uk for the latest information. All purchases of any product made via the OpDark store will support the future development of the Puma project as well as this YouTube channel. In addition to the option of a motorized Z stage and multiple illumination modes, Puma has two advanced options which are not usually found even on the most expensive commercial research microscopes. The first of these is the Puma TFT screen based spatial light modulator. This is as easy to use as a standard filter and allows shaping of the illumination in either the plane of the illuminated field diaphragm or the Fourier plane of the condenser, or both simultaneously. I'm also working on an adapter that will allow it to be used in the Fourier plane of the objective as well, although this add-on is not ready for release at the time of making this video. Fourier light filtering allows for advanced imaging modalities such as Schleieren phase contrast, Fourier ptychography, and 3D tomography. The second advanced feature is the Augmented Reality Heads-Up Display or HUD. This employs an optical superposition projector that allows an interactive digital HUD to be superimposed on the live optical microscope image for digital visual feedback and interactive measurements, amongst other things. These advanced features can be combined, for example, information from digital image analysis of a live camera feed of the specimen can be used to shape the Fourier aperture of the microscope via the SLM and or present feedback of regions of interest to the user in almost real time via the HUD. This type of advanced application requires a user customized interface system, but at least the Puma hardware makes it possible and affordable. To do this with traditional commercially available microscope equipment would cost tens of thousands of pounds. With any scientific instrument, a full appreciation of its limitations is essential to knowing whether that instrument will be useful in any particular study. Perhaps the most significant limitations of the Puma system are issues of mechanical stability the unique movement characteristics of its focus mechanism, sample size limitations, and the fact that you need to interrupt observation in order to change objective. Regarding stability, it should come as no surprise that, being made of 3D printed plastic, the frame of the Puma is susceptible to vibrations. If the scope or the workbench is disturbed during use, this results in vibrational wobble of the observed image, which is most noticeable with high magnification objectives, such as times 40 and above, and when handling the scope during focusing or moving the slide around. This vibrational wobble is illustrated by this video clip taken with a times 40 objective. Fortunately, image vibration settles down after about a second to a stable image 
provided no further external forces are encountered. This wobble can also be ameliorated by the use of dampening pads under the feet. Also, the use of the Z-stage focusing motor greatly reduces this vibration effect compared to manual focusing. As can be seen from the high-quality pictures and video shown elsewhere in this presentation and other publications using Puma, this image vibration effect is by no means an absolute barrier to making and recording good quality observations. The video clip in the following section shows Z focusing with the motorized stage. When you see it, note how relatively free of vibrations the image is. Regarding the focus motion characteristics, the unique timing belt and pulley system of the Puma Z stage has a characteristic form of elastic backlash and XY hysteresis. This means that the image shifts in X and Y whenever the direction of focus changes and there is a lag between reversing direction of the focus gear and the actual platform changing direction. The elastic backlash can be compensated for when using a Z motor, but this does not alter the XY hysteresis behaviour. This is something that just has to be gotten used to. The good news is that the XY hysteresis shift is accurately and predictably reversible, so it is possible to accurately reposition the stage in X, Y and Z, provided one approaches the required Z plane from the same direction each time. Regarding specimen size limitation, this is due to the tri-post architecture of the Puma Z stage, and there is no workaround for this. The stage was designed so that it can accommodate the full working surface of a standard 25 by 75 mm glass microscope slide, and it does this very well. However, objects of larger surface area and objects higher than about 25 mm cannot be accommodated on the stage. Puma also has no objective turret, so to change objective you need to remove the optical tube to remove the current objective and insert the new one. A more complete list of limitations of the Puma system can be found on the Puma GitHub page and the Journal of Microscopy publication referenced in the video description. This was a very brief overview of Puma. If you'd like to see more content and detailed videos on various aspects of the Puma system, such as construction guides, experiments using Puma, and further developments of Puma modules, please support the project. An easy and free way to do this is to simply click on the subscribe button and give the Puma videos a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.